guys, how are you doing? Uh, today I'm at my garage and I will uh, try to repair my uh, stereo head unit. Why? Because it behaves uh, very badly. Uh, to be more particular, uh, the center control knob when uh, I'm rotating it and selecting uh, uh, different uh, uh, menu selections it jumps uh, forward and backwards uh, randomly and it makes me crazy so uh, I think that uh, I'm not the only one that uh, have uh, this problem so I hope that this video will be helpful for you and uh, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel and to leave a thumbs up uh, so yeah uh, now I will try to show you what's wrong with my head unit. So as you can see I have a RNEG head unit. It has a Bluetooth, it has uh, compact uh, discs, uh, navigation and uh, uh, sad to say that, that uh, the Bluetooth is only for hands-free connection to a mobile phone and not to play music. So not a bad one uh, comparing to other head units. It has a quite a decent uh, sound output and uh, a navigation and a color uh, display. So now about the problem. So let's uh, switch it on. So here the uh, head unit is on uh, and uh, everything uh, would be okay except that uh, when I uh, go to any kind of menus let's say the radio and uh, there I have uh, radio stations uh, saved uh, <clears throat> and I want to select let's say the second one I, twi I will twist it only uh, one click at a time and just take a look how it beha behaves one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So yeah, as you can see, uh, when I try to move it in only one position, it moves uh, forward or even backwards, and uh, <coughs> uh, sometimes a couple of. Uh, menu selections at a time. So let's remove the head unit and disassemble the face of it. It's not very difficult. I have to use a special removal tool. It consists of four pieces. I will put those pieces into those four slots and will remove that head unit. Here are those four special tools. A one toolkit. I bought it on AliExpress. Costs a few bucks. So let's unlock the head unit. As you can see, it moves out already, but the uh, gear selector is on our way. Let's take it from the way. And let's take out the head unit. When it's out, I have to disconnect all the plugs, connections. Here, head unit is removed. There are some not original connections, which I have made when I tried to connect a uh, uh, line uh, output handle, but it didn't uh, come out very well and did not work as supposed. To. So the head unit is out. Let's disassemble it. After removing those three bolts, uh, I see that uh, we have to remove the top cover. Mm -hmm. 
Now I will try to remove the face of the head unit. Here it comes off. <clears throat> now there are more uh, T8 screws inside here. Okay, when the, all the all screws are out, you can remove this uh, metal holder. Now the printed circuit board should come out. Yes, it moves and it is moving out. But firstly, as I can see, the uh, selector knob is preventing uh, Print a circuit board from going out. I think I need to remove it. Yes, it's off. And printed circuit board comes out also. So our suspect and our fault is here in this selector. We will need to remove it and to clean it probably or uh, to bend a little bit contacts. Let's remove that rubber part. managed to desolder it. It was really difficult. Just take a look what a mess I have made here. Now I have to clean the board and assemble the encoder and uh, check what's wrong with it. Okay, so now the rotary encoder. Let's open it up by uh, unclipping four uh, clips in, in, on the corners. Here, the bottom, bottom part is removed. Here we have uh, some contacts. These are spring contacts and here are the plates. And uh, there should be very good contact between those uh, springs and uh, those plates, those shiny surfaces. I will use some contact cleaner in those services. The main problem here, I assume, that uh, is uh, uh, lack of the tension for those uh, contacts. So I need to, to uh, bend up those a little bit in order to uh, to get more tension onto 
that contact surface. So now those uh, contacts will have much more tension, much more pressure onto, onto those contact plates. We can uh, assemble it back together. we have assembled back together that uh, rotary switch it's all oily due to that contact cleaner and uh, lubrication I have to remove that excessive oil from those contacts in order not to get a lot of uh, burn when soldering Looks like it moves freely, now that nothing is damaged, we can solder it back onto the board. Here the encoder is back in place. Okay, so let's disassemble it back together and test if it works. Here, unit is assembled back together. Looks like the rotary switch uh, moves freely in all directions. Uh, the push button also runs well, feeling good mechanically. Let's put it back into the car and test. So, let's connect all plugs. So, moment of truth. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Looks like it works. The selector, the push button is working. Also, now I can choose everything from the menu list properly without jumping all around, back and forth. Excellent! So not a very easy job, you have to be very careful not to damage that uh, rotary uh, switch and uh, you have to have some soldering uh, skills and uh, tools. So thank you guys for your attention and uh, as I've said, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. Bye!